might think that May Day is an ancient celebration of spring, but you also might wonder why they waited so long after the equinox to celebrate. It turns out that the answer is astronomical, and the season isn't what you think it is. May Day is the approximate time of a cross-quarter day, a day that is halfway between an equinox and a solstice. Our calendar emphasizes the equinoxes and solstices, but other calendars mark the seasons with the cross-quarter days. The solstices and equinoxes were the mid-season points in these calendars. The best-known calendar using cross-quarter days was the Celtic calendar. May Day, also known as Beltane, was their first day of summer. So they were celebrating the first day of summer, and May Day is really a summer celebration, not spring. Although May Day marks a halfway point, you may notice that it does not divide the time from the spring equinox to the summer solstice in half. In astronomy, the solstices and equinoxes mark the times when the Earth reaches certain milestones in its orbit around the Sun. On the vernal equinox, we would see the Sun in the constellation Pisces if we could see the stars during the day. By the summer solstice, it would have moved to the border of Taurus and Gemini. The Sun appears to move because our perspective changes as the Earth orbits, and it appears to move against the background stars. If the Earth's orbit was a perfect circle and it orbited at a constant speed, May Day would indeed appear halfway between spring and summer on the calendar. However, the orbit is really a slight ellipse, with the Earth being slightly closer to the Sun in winter than in the summer. The closer it is, the faster it moves. So the Earth was moving at its fastest in winter and slows down as summer approaches. In March through May, it was traveling faster than in May through June and covers half the distance in a little less time. During May through June, the Earth is slower and needs more time to cover the same distance. The actual halfway point is a few days later than May 1st and varies slightly each year. In the distant past, cultures may have attempted to determine the exact date and structures such as Stonehenge or this one from Illinois, may have helped them to do this. In recent times, however, the celebration has been fixed to the May 1st date, regardless of the actual halfway date. So, on May Day, think summer instead of spring as the Earth reaches another milestone in its orbit. Truly, a cause for celebration.